Hi and welcome. Today, we are going to show you the proper use of the Mii Mover at home. If you haven't already assembled your Mii Mover bike, first watch the video, How to Assemble Your Mii Mover. The link's in the description. Also, watch our checklist before your first ride video to make sure you have assembled the Mii Mover correctly and that all the components work like they are supposed to. That link is also in the description. Using the Mii Mover is a completely new motion for most people and might feel awkward in the beginning if you are used to a regular bicycle. You have to unlearn biking and learn to Mii Move, but very soon it will become a natural feeling and the Mii Mover will feel more like an extension of yourself rather than a vehicle. First, you need to find a location with lots of space and no interference from others. Before you step onto the Mii Mover, there are some safety precautions and settings you have to adjust. The first thing you want to do is unfold the bike if you haven't already. Lift the handlebar up until you hear a clicking sound. Then you want to insert the safety pin like this. The next step is to adjust the height of the handlebar. A rule of thumb when adjusting the steering while standing in front of the Mii Mover is to have it between your belly button and solar plexus. Once you've adjusted the height of the handlebar, it's time to adjust the pedals. Make sure the parking brakes are engaged so you can safely adjust the foot straps without your Mii Mover moving. Stand behind the Mii Mover and adjust the foot straps one at a time. Your feet should be evenly distributed on the pedals, and you're looking for a snug fit with light pressure on the top of your shoe, while still allowing it to easily slide out. Once you've adjusted the height and the pedals, it's time to stand on the Mii Mover. Make sure the pedals are all the way down before getting on. To get the pedals down, you flip the Mii Mover from side to side or roll it forward until the pedals are all the way down. When getting onto the Mii Mover, you want to place one foot in between the transmissions for better balance. Once you're standing on the Mii Mover, you want to check if the height of the handlebar is adjusted correctly. You should have your arms slightly bent, a straight back, and good posture. If it needs to be higher or lower, get off of the Mii Mover and stand in front and adjust it until you have the perfect height. One thing you must make sure of is that when you are riding the Mii Mover, don't lean back because it may tilt. Stand up straight and keep your balance in the center. Now that you are standing on the Mii Mover with the steering correctly adjusted and the brakes still engaged, you want to get familiar with the balance. Go from side to side until you feel comfortable in a still position. Once you feel comfortable, it's time to ride using one pedal. Start with your dominant leg. Lift it up, release the brakes, and go forward. Focus on lifting the pedal up rather than pushing it down. Think of it as walking up a set of stairs. Make sure to test the brakes so you know how they work and you don't get surprised when you have to use them. It's also a good idea to bend your knees a bit when braking for more balance and stabilization. Keep lifting the pedal up and down until the motion feels natural. Then switch to the other leg and do the same. Once you're comfortable with one leg at a time, then it's time to use both. Keep practicing going in a straight line before you begin to turn. When you feel that you're ready to turn, make sure that you have lots of space to practice. Once you have mastered going in a straight line and turning, it's then time to find a small hill to practice going uphill. There is a certain technique you have to learn in order to go uphill. The Mii Mover has automatic gearing in the transmission, which means that the higher on the pedals you are, the lower the gearing. It gets gradually harder the lower you are on the pedals. This is also why the Mii Mover has a very low impact. Going uphill, you want to get as high on the pedals as possible and make sure you lean forward, not backward. The key again is to focus on lifting the pedals and not pressing them down. Your body weight will automatically make sure you go forward when switching your weight from pedal to pedal, just like when going upstairs. Now it's time to learn the carving mechanism. If you've ever tried skiing before, you might be familiar with this motion. You want to lean from side to side when you carve, and if you want to use the pedals at the same time, it's best to use the outer pedal when doing this to help you lean into the turns. 
Before you know it, using the Mii Mover will feel as natural as walking and like an extension of yourself. Good luck with your training, and if you have any questions, feel free to comment below.